story of the ball game besides our uniforms, of course, was uh, <laughs> Lucas Lasseter. Uh, you know, I thought Lucas went out and get, did exactly what we wanted him to do, and we didn't help him as much offensively as we probably should have, but I uh, thought he competed, you know, phenomenal. We got to convert that double play. I felt so bad for Detsy. You know, he lost it. The ball came out of Detsy's hands a little high, and he lost it a little bit. And he, he's trying to find it, and uh, it's just when, once that happened, um, you, you know, the game's going to punish him. That's exactly what happened. I thought Holder was pretty sharp. He left a couple of breaking balls up. They hit some balls hard uh, to the pull side. And then he jams a guy, and he just dumps it in the right field. And those kind of things happen when you don't take advantage of you know, the defensive opportunities that we had. But uh, Lucas was great. I, I thought the two biggest offensive plays of the game were hurdles. He goes 0-2 and then fights to get to 1-2 after some foul balls. And then he gets hit by the pitch, and that really gets some things going for us. And, uh, you know, Heck follows him with that. And Wes, uh, Wes, you know, is working on some different things with a stroke with Coach Benjione. And he, he just stepped up when we absolutely needed him to. So, uh, you know, there are a lot of things going on in the ball game. You know, I mean, we're, we're 7 and 0 in extra inning ball games. Well, we'd sure like to be uh, 7 and 0 in games where we don't have to go extra innings. But, you know, that's that's how it rolls. And these kids are pretty comfortable in tight ball games because we play a, a ton of them. But, you know, the funny thing is just looking at scouting reports and, and having the TV in the background today when you're getting ready for a ball game like this, every almost every game in the country is like this. I mean, every game is close at the highest levels of college baseball. So. To have your kids comfortable with that, to me, is a real plus, especially this time of year. Do you have a similar conversation with Wes as you did a couple of weeks ago, kind of sit on that fastball? You know what, that wasn't me as Coach Mingeon. Coach Mingeon said, hey, we're going to spread you out. We're going to get you in your legs. We're going to get you a little bit more compact with your front side. And uh, Wes felt very comfortable with that. You just see it coming in our preparation and practice and in BP today. I was watching him swing. It was just different. It was more aggressive. It was more assertive. It was more engaging, and uh, that, that's a great sign for him. It wasn't like he was late, John. He dumped, seemed like he dumped that ball off. No, he was. He was on it. He got that barrel yeah. out front, created a good barrel angle the opposite way. That's that's the old West Ray. That's a great sign for him and, and for our bulk of. I said many times when he wasn't playing as much for us to win ball games, he's going to have to be a factor late in the season. And today, tonight, he was a big factor in his ball game. Talk about the two big offensive plays, but how big was it for Armstrong to score from second there to get you? It's huge. Uh, you know, I mean, we don't win the game if that doesn't happen. And, you know, again, Coach Pinjion sends him. There's no hesitation. We got him running on the play to begin with. And I, I'm just watching the replay on the board, and I'm, I'm thinking, my goodness, that guy's fast. I mean, he, he, even when you're around him as much as we are for two years, there are times where you're just going, my, I mean, that's game-changing speed. I mean, you just don't see that very often on a baseball field. Even though some plays weren't made you wanted, you saw some heads-up plays like what DeMarcus did there to keep it 4-4. Yeah, DeMarcus uh, hits his cutoff, man, throws right through third base. And you know what? What's crazy is with two outs there, you just know they're going to try and score, and he's going to score easy, and then the guy at third stops mm -hmm. and then scores for, for whatever reason. Um, but he did exactly what he needed to do is because we're going to get the guy out at third base no matter what. And uh, yeah, DeMarc is a really smart player, and that, that was the, you know, the, the right play to make. What did Lucas do at about the seventh inning? It looked like he really tried to get down in the zone, got some ground balls, and really got out of innings that way. He did get down in the zone, and he just worked change-up fastball, a ton of change-up fastball, and just got guys to miss hit baseballs and, and, and allow our defense to, to work. And, you know, you got that big double play. Should have been a double play there in the night. And I'm not saying that, uh, you know, to, to insult Betts in any way because we love him and he's, he's, you know, gotten us here also. But um, that's when we knew we had to take him out of the ball game because as a pitcher, when you get that ground ball and your heart, your adrenaline starts going, here's my double play, and then you don't get it. You know, and he was 100 and some pitches into it by then too. But uh, yeah, he just he just pitched his heart out for us uh, tonight. Really, really proud of him. Two pitching questions, John. One is, what would you have done had it gone a little bit further, just ride Holder for a while? or um, We were going to let Holder go, which is the idea. If you win, you're probably going to have to let him have the day off tomorrow. Right. Um, but Jonathan was so upset with the ninth that it would have been hard to take him out just because he, he wanted to pitch. and he, he wanted to get right back in there and make it right. That's the kind of kid he is. And Any idea? Like South Carolina is going to run with Montgomery. Do you, do you counter with Trevor? Yeah, we're going to have to wait and see on that. Uh, we're, we're, we're going to wait and see uh, how Trevor's doing. I know Trevor will want the ball, but, you know, it'd be a matchup thing. I, I would have, if I had to guess, I would say it would be Trevor right now. Um, but we'll wait and see.